hello friends welcome back to my channel basics with me and today we will see the remaining summary of the novel the prime of miss jean brody up to here we have seen that how miss brody handed over the responsibility of finding a girl who is having an affair with mr teddy and the girl whom she handed over the responsibility is Sandy. Now moving forward, a new girl named Joyce Emily comes and joins the school, and at the same time also joins the Brody's set. It was not so easy to join the Brody's set, but she managed to join it. She belongs to a rich family, and very soon came closer to Miss Brody. Miss Brody always inspired Emily to go to Spain and join the civil war because Miss Brody was aware about her desire to go and fight for journal Franco in Spanish civil war so key so she keep encouraging her one day she ran away from the school and she was killed when the train she was traveling in was attacked and everyone blamed miss brody for her death because everyone knew that she is the only one who keep encouraging her to go for franco and meanwhile mr lothar was experiencing domestic crisis because his housekeeper had left him and in the absence of the housekeeper miss ellen and miss allison who were two swing teachers in the junior school and they took the task of running mr lothar's household till the time he will get the next next housekeeper miss brody often pays her visit to mr lothar which was not liked by these two swing teachers so they opposed her but miss brody was enough intelligent to handle them and one day miss brody dismissed them by saying that they are not doing their job properly by now all the girls are of 17 years old and Mary and Jenny left the school before getting completed their school. Mary became typist and Jenny took dramatic art. Monica became scientist. Eunice became a nurse and married to a doctor. Sandy took a subject psychology and Rose got married. but now also sandy and rose used to go to mr lloyd as a model for his portrait one day when sandy and teddy means mr lloyd were alone they made love after that sandy getting bored and lost her interest in him now miss brodie's influence was not that much high on sandy and she was fed up of pretending of following the rules and morals of miss brody so one day she approaches to miss mckay the headmistress and reveals everything to her miss mckay was very happy because she always wanted an opportunity to throw Miss Brody out of the school so she got all the proofs which she wanted now miss brody was suspended from the school and she became very sad because whom she trusted the most had betrayed her now mr lothar was tired of waiting for miss brody and finally mr lothar married to a science teacher 
Miss Lockhart. Now it's been ages since Miss Brody left the school or was suspended. Sandy also became a middle-aged woman. She changed her name to Helena. She became a nun and following the Roman Catholic beliefs which she got from Mr. Lothar. One day, a young man approaches to Sandy and asked her that according to her, who was it who left her the most influenced person? Initially, she smiled a bit and then said she was Miss Brody. It means Miss Brody groomed them in such a way that it was not so easy to come out of her influence. So friends, this was the story of the prime of Miss Jean Brody. And friends, if you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe and thank you for watching.